Supplements that boost NAD levels like MNN and NR have really been making waves in the supplement industry in the last couple of years. Stay tuned to find out why it's a good idea to supplement TMG on top of that. It's anecdotal right now, but to me it makes sense. And in an abundance of caution, I'm um, making sure I have enough methyls in my diet. And you can get them in a variety of ways. There's betaine, which is also known as TMG, trimethylglycine. Right, right. And uh, I, I feel like that is uh, my best solution to this potential problem of yeah. losing methyls to the excretion of nicotinamide. Hi guys, Tony here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about TMG, or the full name is trimethylglycine, or another name is betaine. As the name suggests, so it's basically a glycine, which is an amino acid with three methyl groups attached to it, and they're methyl donors, and it helps in the, the methionine cycle, converting um, homocysteine. And homocysteine is an amino acid. It's like an intermediate in the conversion of methionine from cysteine. But high levels of this indicate inflammation in the body. And if you're someone like me with certain genes, like especially the MTHFR gene, so I've got two copies of it. I'm very poor at absorbing a vitamin B12. Also other B vitamins that help break down homocysteine are vitamin B6 and folate. Again, both of these two I'm a poor absorber of. And this is actually really common, these genes, like the MTHFR gene I mentioned, around 44% of the population have that. And TMG is great at lowering methionine, just helping with inflammation in the body. I've been taking TMG for a little while now. In your diet, you typically get around 100 to 300 milligrams of TMG every day. You get it in things like beetroot, spinach, things like that. I myself, I've been taking it for a little while, but in small doses, so typically around 200 milligrams, even down to 100 milligrams at times, because I've been taking it with the supplement Longevity from Time Health. And this typically isn't enough for someone of my genetics. And the company Do Not Age have thankfully sent their TMG supplement for me to give a try out. Over this last year, I have lowered inflammation, but there is still a lot of room for improvement, hence going up in the dose. And Do Not Age's supplement comes with 1,000 milligrams, so around five times as much as in the Time Health version, which is a blend of seven different longevity compounds, but in a low dose. So what else does trimethylglycine help with? I mentioned about inflammation and another one is you get inflammation from seed oils and glycine it really helps with allowing that inflammation and we can't all be monks you're always going to get something in your diet you know these seed oils in every kind of processed food food when you buy out and they use it it's just you can't get away from it you can minimize it as best you can but you're going to get some of it there's strong evidence that it boosts athletic performance increasing your vo2 max as well as one rep max there's also some been some studies with cancer one of them with lung cancer Cancer. There was 2,800 cancer patients, and uh, they were able to lower the the risk of it developing quite significantly with having a high amount of TMG in their diet. TMG can also help with depression, increasing uh, your natural S adenosyl L methionine in your body. SAMI is the, is the short name of it and that can increase serotonin, dopamine, these neurotransmitters. Another one is lowering your risk of dementia. I mean, it makes sense because if you're, say, lowering the inflammation in your brain, but there, there's been studies on it with Alzheimer's, I mean, there needs to be more on it, but it does, having a high amount of TMG can lower that risk. And these days, inflammation is often nicknamed inflammaging. So as I said, at currently I'm doing 1200 milligrams a day, 200 milligrams in the morning, whereas the 1000 in the evening, I think the best way is splitting into two doses, although mine is obviously higher in the evening than in the morning. So I'm gonna monitor my inflammation levels and just see how it goes. If I need to increase the dose, I'll do that, but it just there's multiple things going on all at the same time, like I mentioned about seed oil, so I'm trying to reduce that as much as I can. Another one is further lowering still my intake of grain-fed beef. As supplement suppliers go, I really like Do Not Age because they've got good ethics behind the business and uh, obviously a GMP uh, certified. They're also a research company too. The, the owner, Alan, you know, being really passionate about the longevity space. I'll put a link in the uh, comments below with the code TEM10 for 10% off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.